Uh, this is question number six from the miscellaneous exercise chapter five. We are given this function as an inverse function, inverse trigonometric function, and when we have to find out dy by dx for this. So for doing so, what we are going to do is apply these two identity. In the first, we'll be applying one plus sine two a's cos a plus sine a whole square. And likewise, we are going to apply the other identity also of minus. So what we are going to do, we are going to apply derivative, but before that, I'm going to simplify this and I'll be writing this as say y is equal to, this is cot inverse. As I said, I'm going to replace this one plus sine a, one plus sine two a is cos a plus sine a whole square, then it is going to be what? This should be cos x by 2 minus sine x by 2. As you can see that 2a becomes a, that's why x will become x by 2 whole square. And we have an under root here. We have a whole under root as well. And on the here, we are going to apply this identity of 1 minus sine 2a. So this turns out to be, let's say plus 3, please the under root. And we are going to write this as cos x by 2. Now this was plus, sorry. This is minus sine x by 2 whole square. And this whole thing is divided by, same way, I'm going to convert this also as cos x by 2 plus sine x by 2 whole square plus whole under root 2 cos x by 2 minus sine x by 2 the whole square. Now we can clearly see that in this case the square and then the under root get cancelled so we'll get cot inverse eliminating the under root and square cos x by 2 plus sine x by 2 plus cos x by 2 minus sine x by 2. That divided by we have cos x by 2 plus sine x by 2 and we did a mistake again. There's a minus sign here. It's minus cos x by 2 plus sine x by 2. So we can reduce this, right? We can cancel this. What we are getting cancelled, uh, this sine x by 2 get cancelled and in the denominator cos x by 2 get cancelled. So we are now left with y times cot inverse. There is a 2 times cot x by 2 and 2 times sine x by 2. So 2 to get cancelled. So we will be left with cos x by 2 over sine x by 2. That implies y is equal to cot inverse cot x by 2. So y finally is x by 2 only. But I say that cot inverse into cot right, is x by 2. Now this is what uh, we had to do. Now final step of differentiation, we have to differentiate this also. Now for finding differentiation, we know that differentiation is like dy by dx and for x by 2 it is half so we'll say that final answer will of this differentiation is half 